blending essential oils into perfumes, there are two main fragrance categories to consider. Notes describe how long each fragrance lasts, with a top note lasting from, um, from minutes to a few hours, a middle note lasting several hours, and a base note lasting the longest. We combine different types of notes to add complexity, to extend the life of the perfume, and some perfumers even describe it as creating a story. Top notes include citrusy fragrances like neroli and sweet orange and bergamot, but juniper berry is also considered a top note. Middle notes include some of the classic florals like jasmine and rose, and also clary sage. And base notes are more resinous and include vetiver and ylang ylang and patchouli. And those oils tend to be a little bit more viscous as well. In combining the notes, you will find that the perfume lasts a bit longer, has a bit more complexity, and some perfumers compare it to creating a story. So how would you combine these? If you're just getting started, you might like to follow a principle of three parts top note, two parts middle note, and one part base note. Or some will use four parts top note, three parts middle note, and one part base note. And I recommend that you start small um, with any type of herbal preparation, but especially with perfumes, because the combination may not be quite what you expect, and you're working with really, really precious ingredients. So it's always a great idea to start small and then experiment from there. Whenever we combine fragrances, um, some will call the combination a chord. And you might be thinking that a chord would be one of each. Um, but that's not necessarily the case. It is often, but perfumers will also make a chord of all top notes or all middle notes or all base notes and then save these to combine with different simples or different combinations, just adding to the complexity of the final product and adding to what they've learned about the combinations. The other category of fragrances is families, and families are a lot more intuitive and a lot more sensory and really basically use vocabulary you're already used to. So families, examples of families are spicy, sweet, floral, um, peppery, uh, and we have a couple fun ones like agrestic, which just means kind of foresty or meadow-like and balsamic, which might not be totally obvious, but that's sort of uh, sweet, but also really warm and full as well. So those you can determine a little bit more um, with your senses and a little bit more intuitively. And there isn't really an exact rule for how to combine these. In the associated blog post, we do have some tips um, and a, a blend could really be based on just one of these families or a combination of many. You also do want to consider the intensity of the different components of the perfume um, and keep that in mind. Another reason to kind of experiment and start with small amounts. In blending, there are a lot of different considerations and we go into all of these really in depth in the perfumes course for the Herbal Academy. A couple of things you want to just be aware of are that a blend can change over time. You also want to be aware that a blend may present a little bit differently if you're adding it into another herbal, herbal product. Um, and then we really encourage you to consider sustainability. Um, a lot of really sought after ingredients, especially in the older recipes, may include ingredients or plants that are not really considered as sustainable to use. And there are often combinations of other plants and ingredients that create a similar effect and may also be less costly to use as well. Um, and another consideration is safety. So you may find that perfume recipes use a little bit higher concentration of essential oils than you're used to seeing recommended. And in part, that's because it will just be applied to a small area of the body. Um, but it's also because different essential oils have different sort of maximum concentrations that they're considered generally safe in. 
Um, and so I definitely encourage you to read a little bit more about the maximum concentrations and dilution and safety in the blog post associated with this video. And we expand on this much, much more in the perfumes course. So why don't we make a really simple roll-on uh, oil perfume blend. This is citrusy and floral, and I have all ingredients from Mountain Rose Herbs, and we're using an Herbal Academy recipe. Um, so for the base, I have jojoba oil, and the pH is similar to the skin, and it doesn't have too much of a scent of its own. So for most of our volume of perfume, we'll have jojoba oil. This is a 10 milliliter roll-on bottle. I've put about six mils in, and ultimately we'd want about nine of the total to be the jojoba oil. Um, we're going to use a top note of sweet orange, and so I'm going for just the three drops here. There we have it. And we're going for the palmarosa as our middle note. Sometimes the middle note is called the heart note. So just around two drops. You'll know this one's already a little bit thicker. And then just one drop of ylang ylang, which is quite strong. So I'm really gonna try to have just one drop. And we might have also in this blend used rose um, or neroli oil. Those are quite expensive um, and really precious. So we're doing kind of a more accessible blend right now. And then you can also add a drop or two of vitamin E oil, just to kind of sort of fix the scent a little bit. Um, and ideally, a touch more of the jojoba oil. You could also use a test strip to just test the scent as it is, but I'm going to more or less follow our recipe because we've tried it and we liked it. And then basically it's just available easily as a roll-on. It's pretty nice. And you can also use test strips um, to sort of get an idea of what your scent is going to be like compared to another blend. Um, and then of course we always love to label everything. Um, and you might be interested in keeping a fragrance journal if you're doing more than one perfume. So with the Herbal Academy's perfumes course, we have a fragrance journal which stands up really well against ingredient spills and gives you a nice reminder of what sorts of information you want to record, like notes, the binomial name of the plants as you're learning them, and more. So that is also an option. So I hope that you're now interested in creating your own really fabulous perfume blends using essential oils from Mountain Rose, and perhaps you'll even join us in the Natural Perfumes course with Herbal Academy.